welcome back to another video everyone in today's video i will be covering pb exact um, i have been working on this system for a couple months now um, i am not uh, moving away from my uh, usual videos um, i still do android hacks and so on however uh, uh, as of recent i've been working a lot with uh, pb exact and windows server so i thought to myself well why not post a few videos on this uh, so in this video i'm going to show you guys how to configure your uh, sangoma s300 or any other sangoma or dgm phone that you may have um so it's very simple um and of course PV exact makes that very easy for you with the GUI so you just log on to your PVX's um, um, IP address to access the GUI and um, on here we're going to head over to modules and um, so here you find the list of modules now it varies depending on what you subscribed to for um, so you're going to head over to endpoint manager right here so let's see like that Okay, um, it's now loading up Endpoint Manager. My extension has already been set up. So in order to get your extension set up, um, you go over to extension or you also head over to the search function right over here to search. Um, I have that set up already. So um, I should be coming back up with a video as well on how to set up extensions. So let's head over here. Um, there's this menu to the side here. So in case you're looking for it, if you click here, you will see this menu coming up and you will be selecting extension mapping. And the all the list of endpoints will be um, populated on this menu. Um, takes a while to load. Uh, so let's be patient. Um, right now we have the menu here with all the users. Um, I have as well DGM phones on here, um, which requires a, a bit of a different configuration file, which you'll have to generate from the system itself. Uh, these devices, these endpoints are using a VPN connection. Um, I've set this up via the user manager. Um, I this actual, actually this new extension which I set up has a VPN configured as well, so it's a good thing to, to do if you um, think planning on, on connecting this device remotely. Um, so I have this right here receiving two with the extension setup account one. The brand would be Sangoma. You're going to select your template for the firmware. So I'm going to select this one. And the model would be S300. And now on my phone, I'm going to take it right now. Um, so we have it right here, the S300. Um, yes, so I'm going to now uh, go ahead and uh, put together the uh, MAC address which will be adding on here which will basically the PBX would send all configuration to this phone all right so i have my s300 here and i'm going to get the mac address from the back um, let me just take note of that right now so i'm going to enter it oh it's already there on autofill so here it is okay so once done you're going to select save and rebuild config so you have your extension your account your model your brand uh, your mac address template and the devices model now you're going to select here use selected and the page will refresh So it should be in right now. Um, just refreshing right here. So right here, um, I want this phone also to be configured with VPN. So I'm going to edit this configuration, and you can do that for all other phones if you have to. So if for some reason or the other one endpoint has to be moved over to a remote location, then you would head over to the configuration, edit, select VPN client, and the uh vpn client which you generated in the user management um i would like of course to, to uh, create videos on these uh which would come in very handy so i'm not sure exactly i'm going to do so but um search video um 
should be coming up um so right now it's right here um <coughs> save rebuild configs if the phone is on then you would see like save rebuild configs and update device but right now the phone is off it actually has a configuration currently so i might have to reset it to factory um so now i'm going to click apply all right so those changes have been applied and over here you would see a menu coming up apply config so be sure to click on that and also this process may take a while so just be patient all right so i'm going to disconnect my phone which is currently configured um, <coughs> so we can configure the, the new endpoint so i'm going to uh, connect my e cable right here bear with me So this one should start booting up. Alright. So of course when configuring endpoints with a VPN, um, you do not connect it on your remote network until it has been um, configured by the PBX. So once it receives all the configuration files, then um, the phone would apply that configuration and then on the remote side you are able to go ahead and connect however configuration on the pbx's end has to be done first um, there is a way however of um, getting this done if you were to connect this device um, if you were to access the device's gui that's if you um, as you can see it's receiving config from vpn now so it has it has received its configuration which is great um, so like i was saying um, if you log on to the device's GUI and you allow override, that's if you um, head over to your configuration settings on the PBX um, and you allow override from the phone's GUI, then you would be able to specify your VPN client and so on. So this is the only other way that you'd be able to configure this device remotely. Um, so it's, retrie it's retrieving a lot of the files from the PBX. Um, so I'm just awaiting that to complete. Um, Reconfiguration takes some time, so be patient. Right, so it's also checking the firmware. And after this, uh, it will reboot with the new settings. Um, <coughs> so it's on. It actually applied my old configuration, which I do not want. Um, so in that case, what I'm going to do, and I'm actually glad that this happened. As you can see, as it says VPN activated. Um, in that case, what we're going to do is hit menu and when you hit the menu key, you're going to hit your star key three times. So we're going to reset the phone to factory and you're going to press and hold the X button for 10 seconds. Not sure if my counting will be the best, but I'm just going to uh, press and hold for a reasonable amount of time. <laughs> okay, so that should be about 10 seconds and the phone should restart and delete the current configuration and contact the pbx for the new configuration so yes it's going to reboot so hopefully this time it contacts the pbx for the new configuration this right here land bridge mode so you can also connect a pc on this device um, through the PC port to the bottom as well, which is very useful. All right, so here I'm going to select my server PBX. So I'm going to select OK. And um, it should contact the PBX now for configuration. So you can see the extension as up here. I don't think the receiver should have been off though. Okay. Um, yeah, it's going to reboot. Alright, perfect. So configuration is complete. I am going to now um, go ahead and try ringing my extension. Um, 
So my phone is disconnected, but it will ring on my PC since I have the um, Sangoma Zulu app set up. All right, so I'm going to ring my extension. Okay, so it's coming up right there, so let me answer it. There should be some feedback because I have both phones on speaker. Let me see. Testing. Not sure which one I'm using. On. Okay. Alright. All right. So it appears to be working. Yes, it was. Alright, so yes, we have come to the end of today's video. Um, thank you very much for watching. Be sure to support the channel by subscribing and sharing this video with others if it was helpful for you and giving me a thumbs up um if you'd like to see any more other um uh free pbx videos pbx exact videos let me know i'll try my best to put one together for you guys um yeah so once again thank you for watching and have a good one i'll see you guys in the next video